Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over smoothing in Blender 2.8. Now bear in mind that I am a hobbyist at best, but uh, I've kind of, I'm kind of exploring and I'm, I'm learning new stuff every day. And you know, a good way to learn how to do things is I find to do videos on them. So this is smoothing. So I would basically create a, uh, a 3D model and then just select all the faces and then smooth and it would just not look that great and blender's kind of dumb it doesn't know what an edge is and uh, it basically just smooths everything and i'll give you an example so i'm going to add in a cube a cube is a hard edged kind of thingamajig so i'm going to yeah select all faces go to face something that I did the first little while and I would go shade smooth and I'd be like that looks freaking awesome well not really that's not how it works because there's no definition the normals are all weird and that's not how you go about things so I'm gonna give an example here I'm just gonna go shade flat and uh, let's create an object that has both hard edges and uh, rounded edges so I'm just going to Go back to edit mode, hit A twice, I'm still learning. And uh, I'm gonna select this top face, hit Control B to bevel. And this is going to be my curved area. So there's this right here, um, that's not smoothed. Let's say I wanna smooth that. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just hit Tab again. Uh, there's the area that I wanna smooth. And uh, this is basically how I would go about it. I would just select the faces that I wanted to smooth. And uh, there it is, but uh, there's this weird thing going on here. It's not that great. So what I have to do is, uh, there's a couple ways to go about this, but for this shape, I'll just, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to shade flat and then go and select this face and then extrude up with E. So yeah, we have a bunch of rounded stuff and then hard edge stuff and uh, we're gonna make this look nice and pretty. So what do you do, counterintuitive, you uh, hit tab, you make sure you're in edit mode, hit A twice or a couple times to make sure you have everything selected, and then you go face, and then you go shade smooth, and that'll smooth everything. So like I said before, Blender's kind of dumb. It doesn't know, we haven't defined what an edge is. And there's a way to go about that, what you can do, um, this is, topic for another video we can select um, these edges right here go to edge and then mark sharp I'm not gonna do that in this video because there's a better way two better ways uh, so I'm gonna go into edit here and I'm gonna hit this little uh, object data thing on the side here go down to normals and then I'm going to hit auto smooth and this does some magic right check this out this will smooth the smooth parts and then the edges it will leave as edges automatically based on the angle. We say, we tell Blender because it's dumb. We say, hey, this angle will dictate what is smooth and what is not. And we can kind of see what's happening, right? Down really low, like 11 degrees, um, these, you know, stair-steppy things are there. And we can increase that to be like usually well the defaults 30 30 degrees it'll uh, shade angles that are 30 degrees will shade them smooth so we have our hard edges and then we have our smoothness okay so burn that into your memory I'm gonna disable that for a sec there's another option which is uh, also valid but it has its downside but it has its upside as well we're gonna go to add modifier and what was it it was edge split edge split does something similar but you'll notice at the bottom here um, our vertices it actually increases our vertices so how it works as far as I understand is that depending on the angle it will define an edge by doubling up the vertices so it kind of does that and uh, you know that's all well and good uh, depending on how concerned you are on you know poly count and stuff like that but uh, yeah it does a similar thing and uh, the angle split angle will uh, dictate you know what is what is an edge and what isn't uh, so depending on your object um, that will uh, dictate that but I uh, I turn that off 
and the vertices goes down to 36. I go back to my upside down triangle thing and I go auto smooth, boom, same thing, but the vertices uh, doesn't increase. It just shades where you want it and uh, looks rather nice. This took me a while to figure out. I was like, what the heck is going on here? And from there, you can, uh, yeah, just uh, kind of work on your object and it'll automatically uh, smooth things that are smooth and smooth things that aren't. You have to, uh, for some reason, uh, uh, if you're hit, uh, if you're on uh, shade flat, which is the default, and you hit auto smooth, it won't do anything. You actually have to uh, go into edit mode with tab, select everything by hitting A a couple times, face, and then shade smooth um, for the uh, auto smooth to work, um, which kind of makes sense. And yeah, that's uh, that's Blender for you. Um, super fun. Uh, again, I'm just a hobbyist. Uh, learning and uh, things like that. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you learn stuff. Take care and have a good one.